Good morning. We are in downtown Aurora in front of one of many buildings that have a lot of damage as a result of the protests that became violent overnight. Uh, just in the last few minutes, several volunteers started flooding downtown with garbage bags and brooms. Uh, they have started the process of cleaning up all of the uh, damage left behind. Aurora police this morning report one officer injured in the clashes, 14 people arrested. Police say there were multiple protests going on in the city Sunday by evening. The peaceful demonstrations had turned ugly. The squad car was on fire near Broadway and Galena Boulevard. Police say three of the vehicles were set on fire and destroyed. The uh, first Midwest Bank and also a Fifth Third Bank near uh, Galena and Broadway were damaged. The doors and the windows just smashed. Shots were fired at police twice. Poli people uh, hurled bricks, glass and rocks at officers. Police blame protesters for at least two fires in the city. This fire broke out at about midnight at a family dollar store. Police say several people were seen breaking in before the flames erupted. This is in the 400 block of New York Street. Police were there also to protect the firefighters so they could put out the fire. We also found graffiti on a BP Amico station. A liquor store was uh, looted and both of those businesses are on Galena Boulevard. Looting was also a problem in West Suburban Joliet. Video posted on Twitter shows people coming out of a Ross dress store and the Skechers outlet next door carrying merchandise. Uh, the city says that it will begin assessing the damage done this morning, we're also going to hear from the mayor and the police chief uh, about the situation, what happened last night into this morning. So you could see uh, more volunteers at the Midwest Bank across the street. So uh, a lot of these people said that they uh, were safe at home, but they could hear all of the clashes and, and the madness that was going on. And this morning, they decided to come out and, and help clean up the downtown area. We're downtown in Aurora, Judy Wang, WGN News.